<laughs> that has to go to the start. <laughs> What's going on guys? So this is our workout. We did it after our squat, bench, and deadlift. And we also decided to add in a few different exercises. We were just messing around a bit, having an awesome workout. The pump was unreal. Uh, right now we're at a stage where our calories are fairly low and we are dropping weight. So the workouts are hard. But um, we're at a stage where we just need to keep pushing through. We need to stay on track with our goals. And for those of you who are participating in Summer Flex, we hope you're doing the same. Um, the squatting, the benching, the deadlifting, all this volume is going to be tough, guys. But it is going to be worth it. So we hope you're staying on track and achieving your goals. So here we have one of our favorite supersets. Um, and this is the Skull Crusher into a close grip bench press and it is a classic it is going to absolutely kill your triceps right from the beginning um and then from here on we're going to move on into the edit and i really hope you guys enjoy it three two one bam you were the shadow to my light did you feel us another star you fade away afraid our aim is out of sight wanna see us of the sea and breathe in Oh, 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 oh,
What's up guys? So we're going to Subway again today, like we did that other day. We're kind of going over. So I went to make my sub here. I got it pretty nice. 670 cows, eight fat, 106 carbs, 34 protein for a ham sub with no cheese. I added all my extras. If you Google this, you can find these online calculators. They really help you out, especially, especially if you're big and if it fits your macros. Okay, I'm gonna show you something crazy. So right now the only sauce I got is sweet onion sauce fat free. I'm also gonna put some hot sauce on there. They didn't have it listed and it won't be much. But sometimes I like to delight myself with the Chipotle Southwest. So we're at A fat. Now check this, when we click this one sauce, 28 grams of fat right there. That sauce, one, that two lines that give you Chipotle Southwest is 20 grams of fat. So it's the little things like that that make all the difference. 20 grams of fat is a lot of food. So that's some food for thought, guys. Literally food for thought. So we're still having a little bit of fun looking at like comparison of macros online. Right now we have Wendy's. This is a large uh, frosty, 580 calories, 16 grams of protein, 15 fat, and then the carbs are 96. Now let's compare the Wendy's to the Dairy Queen. I'm like a huge fan of ice cream, so sometimes I'm like, oh man, I wanna have some Dairy Queen, but then I look at the, like, the macros and stuff and it's not even worth it, because I'd be so content with Wendy's. So check this out. So Dairy Queen um, for a large Oreo Blizzard, 1250 calories, 43 fat, and 197 grams of carbs for just a large. And like you will not be full at all. Sometimes that's like, more than half of what someone would eat in a day. So there's smart if it fits your macros and there's if it fits your macros. So you guys gotta be smart when making a decision, especially if you're low in calories, you want as much volume as possible. So the reason we're actually comparing all of these is because even myself, and I know a lot of other people who are trying to do if it fits your macros and flexible dieting, you just simply don't realize how much is in something. So that's why tracking accurately and checking online and doing stuff like this can be crucial. So for example, it's extremely easy to go to Subway, type in like ham sub on Italian herbs and cheese, just put into my fitness pal and you know, say, oh, foot long is 580 calories. But once you add in the Chipotle sauce and everything else, like it adds up like crazy. Like you're talking 400 calories. And a lot of times, especially people who are like, man, I'm not losing weight. This is one of the reasons. So like as a coach and even as a, you know, guy who's trying to shred down myself, like it's extremely important to do stuff like this, guys. So the reason we're talking about this is if you guys want to follow an if it fits your macros regimen, also we don't eat this all day. Like we pack very healthy clean foods all day and we're trying to think of something fun to eat on the go. So it really helps to have the foresight. So always log ahead, have it prepared. If you're just out and about and you just log things and see what it equates to at the end of the day, you can't backtrack that. Whereas now I know ahead of time that I'm able to have this food and I can enjoy it and I don't have that repercussion. And then another thing you guys can really think of is alternatives. So instead of me going out and having a blizzard, I could always suggest a frosty. I can have half the calories with the better macros and reap the rewards of that. Furthermore, if you're going out to the movie theater, instead of just having a huge bag of popcorn, you can always have a bag of popcorn from home or watch a movie home. Like, there's just so many positive alternatives that will actually make logging easier and still keep it fun where you can enjoy the benefits of if it fits your macros with the consistencies of clean eating. On a side note, salads are not always your best friend, especially McDonald's. I'm looking at this one. It's a Caesar salad with crispy chicken, 520 calories, 31 grams of fat, and then the carbs are 28. There's more fat than there is carbs, but Caesar salads are never a good idea. But it's just it's just something a lot of people don't realize. Like you go to McDonald's, and I know people who think they're being healthy and whatnot, or like they'll reach their weight loss goals by having salad, but the dressing especially, just loaded up, uh, will put on so much fat and put on a like, crazy amount of calories, so. Yeah. Yo, Kyle, you want some spring? What? Bro? Yeah, not <laughs> 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 I choose you, Pikachu. You ready, bud? Yeah. Okay. Slowly let go Slowly of the clutch. Yeah. Okay, not all the way. <laughs> Are we gonna swim turn or not? Nah, probably not. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm just chilling with my dog. You know what I mean? We wait until it gets cold, and then the pool it feels a little bit warmer. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> hey. hey! Hello, dude.
glad that we made it. Sell off the thing, I'm a king. Of Every time I'm in the street, I hear Yak, 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 yak Man down, where you from? I think we should have three people explain it, guys Yeah, we should have one Okay, what? I'll one explain it Okay? <laughs> you also learn <laughs> this There can't be more than one person from your team Outside the If you really think about it Well, if you do it like No splashing No groin shots, no face shots And no touching the butt Yeah! Yo! Get him! Back, back, back. I got it. <laughs> Play it up, bro. Play it up. Oh, you face. Ah! Jeez. Kyle, you got this, man. Okay, yeah, you got this, dude. <laughs> Train, bro. We have pain going on. Yes, uh, ah! I you ah! ah! little baby. Ow! Ow! Get out the way. Oh no! The fight's out. I'm about to punch your lights out. Get the back. back. Guard your grill. It's something wrong. We can't stay still. Yeah, this is a free win. Oh, oh my bad. Walk in, walk in. Bonnie. <laughs> you got it, you got it. <laughs> you got it. Go. Go. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, tackle him. You got it, go. By yourself, by yourself. Hey. Or do you guys want to start? You guys want to start? I don't know, take it. No, you gotta get the ball every time. Don't worry, we'll get the ball. Every, every ball. time, bro. Every time you get first. Because we're the winners every time. See that? I was feeling it. Well, yeah! yeah. It blows down the... Oh! What you oh, mean? Oh, right here! Woo! Woo! Yo! Oh. That's game, baby! Oh! That's Woo! game, baby! Baby! Wow. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching, guys. It could means rewind. A gunshot means forward. You requested it, so we rewind. Search! Yeah.